the arthritis cure, of Rex Newnham. In the 1960s, Rex Newnham, Ph.D., D.O., N.D., developed arthritis. At that time he was a soil and plant scientist in Perth, Western Australia. Conventional drugs did not help, so he looked for the cause into the chemistry of plants. He realized that plants in that area were rather mineral deficient. Knowing that boron aids calcium metabolism in plants he decided to try it. He started taking 30 mg of borax a day, and in three weeks, all pain, swelling and stiffness had disappeared. He told public health and medical school authorities about his discovery but they were not interested. However, some people with arthritis were delighted as they improved. Others were scared to take something with a poison label on a container and meant to kill cockroaches and ants. Eventually he had tablets made with a safe and effective quantity of borax. Within five years and only by word of mouth he sold 10,000 bottles a month. He could no longer cope, and asked a drug company to market it. That was a major mistake. They indicated that this would replace more expensive drugs and reduce their profits. It so happened that they had representatives on government health committees, and arranged that in 1981 Australia instituted a regulation that declared boron and its compounds to be poisons in any concentration. He was fined $1,000 for selling a poison, and this successfully stopped his arthritis cure from spreading in Australia. Subsequently he published several scientific papers on borax and arthritis. One was a double-blind trial in the mid-1980s at the Royal Melbourne Hospital which showed that 70% of those who completed the trial were greatly improved. Only 12% improved when on placebo. There were no negative side effects, but some reported that their heart ailment had also improved, and there was better general health and less tiredness. Most of his later research was devoted to the relationship between soil boron levels and arthritis. He found, for instance that the traditional sugar cane islands, due to long-term heavy use of fertilizers, have very low soil boron levels. Jamaica has the lowest level and arthritis rates are about 70%. He noted that even most dogs were limping. Next comes Mauritius, with very low boron levels and 50% arthritis. The daily boron intake in these countries is less than 1 mg per day. An interesting comparison is between Indian and native Fijians. The Indians are estimated to have an arthritis rate of about 40% and eat much rice grown with fertilizer while the native Fijians with an estimated arthritis rate of 10% eat mainly starchy root vegetables grown privately without fertilizer. The US, England, Australia and New Zealand generally have average soil boron levels with an estimated intake of 1 to 2 mg of boron and arthritis rates of about 20%. But Carnarvon in Western Australia has high boron levels in soil and water, and the arthritis rate is only 1%. It is similar in a place called Nafar Springs in New Zealand with very high boron levels in the spa water which is curative for arthritis. Actually all spas reputedly curing arthritis have very high boron levels. These are also high in Israel with an estimated daily boron intake of 5 to 8 mg and only 0.5 to 1% arthritis. Bone analysis showed that arthritic joints and nearby bones had only half the boron content of healthy joints. Equally, Synovial fluid that lubricates joints and provides nutrients to the cartilage is boron deficient in arthritic joints. After boron supplementation bones were much harder than normal and surgeons found them more difficult to saw through. With additional boron, bone fractures heal in about half the normal time in both man and animal. Horses and dogs with broken legs, or even a broken pelvis, have fully recovered. Borax is also effective with other forms of arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile arthritis, and lupus, also known as systemic lupus erythematosus. For instance, Dr. Newnham saw a young girl aged 9 months with juvenile arthritis. He was able to cure her in 2 weeks. He wrote that commonly people can get rid of their pain, 
swelling and stiffness in about 1 to 3 months. Then they can reduce treatment from 3 to 1 boron tablets per day as a maintenance dose so that they can avoid any future arthritis. Each tablet was 3 mg. He also stated that patients with rheumatoid arthritis commonly experienced a Herxheimer reaction and that this is always a good prognostic sign. They must persevere and in another two or three weeks, the pain, swelling and stiffness will be gone. I found this statement not only interesting but also surprising. The Herxheimer reaction is an early aggravation of symptoms with increased pain. It is commonly due to toxins released by killed candida and mycoplasma. This is very common with antimicrobial therapy, and borax definitely is an exceptionally good and strong fungicide. What surprises me, however, is that this fungicidal effect is already present at this rather low dose of 75 to 90 mg of borax. Equally surprising is the finding that also up to 30% of those with osteoarthritis experienced a Herxheimer reaction, suggesting that the border between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis is rather fluid. I believe that in long-standing and especially resistant cases it will be advisable to use other antimicrobials in addition. For cofactors in arthritis treatment also see my article Arthritis and Rheumatism or the booklet Overcoming Arthritis. Check the description of this video for the link.